It's been a while since we've had this much hype over the start of a series. Over 1,000 of you voted on the team voting poll to decide which one we're going with. And Nashville won. I'm actually surprised Nashville. Bit of a smaller market team. Kind of a coming out of nowhere team this year in the NHL. But that's what you guys wanted. And here we are taking them over. So you guys know what's up. Beginning of the series. I'm going to mention it right here. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. We got, we got to defeat the algorithm. The algorithm, baby. This could very well be one of the better franchise modes that we've ever done. Looking at this roster and everything like that, it's it could really get interesting. And man, oh man, the membership side of things. Those of you who are channel members will see yourself in the game. And it'll be bigger and better than ever because... I had the master himself snipe and score, take care of all the uh, all the roster stuff, so the balance is going to be there. You guys, I'm so excited for you guys to see where you ended up. Everything the same, randomized potential, all that kind of good stuff. And if you guys want to play along, you can go download those rosters. Yeah, that's right. I think look up Sin FTW member. Or members, it's and you'll you'll be there. So if you guys want to follow along with this, go for it. But before we get started with this franchise mode and get into the nitty gritty, here's a quick word from the amazing sponsors of this video. There is no better time than right now to get into the stock market. As some of you out there may know, I've spent the last two years of my life exclusively making my income from trading. And that's why I'm so excited to bring this opportunity to you guys today. This is something that I do, that I'm passionate about, and this is a service that I actually use every single day. It's an options trading alert service coming from Jake the Stock Guy. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's more than just an options alert service. It is an educational service. There are professional traders in there who are there every day to help you along the way, not only by giving you alerts of what they're doing, but to show you what they see, to train you in what they see so that you can carry that knowledge with you for the rest of your life. Now, I've shown some pictures of some of my daily profits but why just take my word for it? If you sign up for this, there's an entire room dedicated to people posting their profits, their success stories, all from this service. So if you're ready to take that leap and gain your financial independence, check the description out. There's a link in there for your 14-day free trial. And guys, trust me when I say this, it pays for itself. In fact, I paid for an entire year of the service in one day. I hope to see you guys there along with me for the ride. So this team is actually not doing too bad in real life. Um, obviously, Duchesne is going absolutely ham. Forsberg is doing pretty good. But man, this roster here, it's uh, not looking super strong. Maybe could tweak some things here or there. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really going to do it. I'm gonna, we're going to take this kind of as it is and see what this team wants to be. I, I, I kind of always like that. We're going to see what this team wants to be and sort of uh, play off of that. And it, uh, it could be very, very exciting. Uh, all the settings are going to be the same. Um, as they usually are. I'll give you guys a quick look at what those are as well. Fog of War off. Um, I've already gone ahead and got some of the scouting uh, all taken care of. Attribute effects cranked up to 10 out of 10. Because I, I like the way the sim engine scores like that. Injuries down to 20 of course. The rules and set. Nah, I think that's kind of it. Yeah. Obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. The uh, trade difficulty on hard. Fully healed. Stuff like that. Auto rotate goalies is on. Yeah, is it not going to show trade? Di oh, there you go. Yeah, it's 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 so weird. It's in a different position. There you go. Trade difficulty, of course, on hard. I do like the draft class quality boosts. It does still balance it out, so it doesn't. I I've I've kind of gone with this pretty much every single time. Um, it the game doesn't allow things to get too too crazy, but I do like the higher quality drafts and stuff because it actually helps out the computers a hell of a lot more. I'm always gonna find steals. We know that the draft god lives. We're always gonna find steals here. 
It's just a matter of that. And, of course, we will be bringing back the, the every season uh, point scoring contest. So, if you're new here, it's incredibly simple. At the beginning of each season, in the free agency video, before we uh, get simming here, you guys will see the lines and you'll make your predictions. Now, you're going to guess one person to lead the team in points, another person that you think is going to lead the league in points, and who you think the best goaltender is going to be. Now, you either have to guess two forwards, one from the team, one from the league, or one one forward, one defenseman, and it can't be the same person. You can't say, oh, Yossi's going to lead the league in points and also the team. Well, if he's leading the league in points, it's a probably safe bet that he's also leading the team in points, and plus, that's also two defensemen. So, I I hope, I mean, you you'll see from the comments. So, you'd say, okay, you think Forsberg's going to lead the team in points, you think Kale McCarr is going to lead the league in points, and you think Vasilevsky is going to be the best goaltender. You do that, if you do get, um, if you do get two or more correctly, your name will be uh, shown on screen at the uh, the next year um, prior to, uh, well, basically in the same video that it's in, but it'll be uh, at the beginning. Or if you get a clean sweep, which is all three correctly, your name will be shown on screen. And, well, in a year like that, if you only got two correctly, you got beaten by someone who is the master predictor. I think we've covered just about everything. I have gone ahead and got all the scouts. As I said, and I'm going to show you guys this, dude. Man, this... The scouting team didn't start off too bad. These guys, it, it gave, look how many A's it gave us. What the hell? And then B's. I only had to get eight new guys. And yeah, so uh, it's not too bad. I got all my scouts in the locations that I want. If you guys want to see what my scouting tactics are, Russia, Russia, Liga, Liga, SHL, SHL. Um, so two in each of the kind of major leagues, essentially, like, so you can see here, one in each of the European ones, two in the USA Central. I don't have any NHL scouts because they don't matter at this point. And I'm sick of just getting them just to have them sit there. I want better scouting. <laughs> just for parody. I don't even know why I was doing them. Like, why am I doing this? This isn't a competitive game mode. Let's go. All right. Well, the coaching looks bad. I'm going to take a look here and see what we're, uh, what we got kind of in the way of prospects. We got Cody Glass. <laughs> well, we'll see how he pans out. We could call him up, I guess. He is listed for the third line. We could do uh, some movement here, kind of shove some guys in, see, see kind of what's going on. I don't, I don't mind that idea. He's not too bad. And uh, we'll definitely get some simming done. I don't know how much we'll get done, but may maybe even an entire year. We'll see. But uh, I'll, I think we'll call up Cody Glass. Everything else I'm pretty much going to leave the same. Again, I'm not going to make too many changes in the first year, as I like to see what the team is kind of going to do here. So I'm going to... Oh, we got too many players. Derp. Let's, uh, McCarron, I guess, can get sent down. I don't know how many defensemen I have up, actually. I might have too many defensemen. That'd be kind of good to know, wouldn't it? Let me, <laughs> before we actually make that move, let me actually see the scratches here. Could completely be, uh, sending a wrong guy down. I knew it. <laughs> it's a legit all defenseman. That's, that, why, is it, why does it always seem like Nashville always has a ton of defensemen? So, yeah, we'll be sending down two of those defensemen. We are going to be Tennyson and Harper, I guess. Was the other guy, did the other guy have potential, Carrier? He does. He is listed as depth, but I don't want to play him in a depth role because you never know. You might not get any ice time. I'm actually going to send down Carrier as well. We'll keep up. Uh, I'm going to keep Tennyson up because he was a shark at one point. <laughs> there you go. That's some flawless logic. That's how you run a team, baby. All right. Cody Glass comes up. And it, eh, AHL can get best lines. D -d -d. Maybe I'll have to take another look at that. Or Now it's called Head Coach Prefer Line. What, the, what was that? Why, why does it call it that now? What was, so, what was so wrong about the other thing? Cousins is now a third liner. Trennan can probably hop in. Oh, Jesus. Do you like... Eh, you're getting on the first line, but it eh, doesn't help us. All right. Do I want to play McCarron with Cody Glass? Good gracious. I mean, I guess I will. No one else is going to help the guy score. It's not like we have anyone. I mean, actually, we could do that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get too great at chemistry. It's just this coaching system with the uh, default coach is not too great. Even here, man, this is where it gets kind of dicey. I can't do a whole heck of a lot unless I move Yossi out of there. Maybe I stack it with X. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't work if trying to stack it. 
Good gracious, no one likes it. How about Borvieski? He's at least DFD while it... Son of a bee sting. Oh, that's right. Yossi's two-way anyway. Um, It's not great. Not great, Bob. Kind of in a rough spot here. No one likes that top pairing. So, negative one, I guess. Fabro... I'm, I, uh, maybe we can get him some stack growth. Who the heck knows? But this is this is the man right here. The short king. UC Saros, 5'11", God in goal. And this is the key to our hopefully prolonged success. He's about to enter his prime. We'll get he, honestly, we could prop if he if he sims well and if he performs well, this could be our goalie for the entire franchise mode. Like if we go 10 years, that still only brings him up to like 36. I mean, yeah, he'll be likely starting to decline in that way, but it'll still be probably pretty good. Plus, if he goes down to like 83, then we get the cheese out of him. So, um, yeah, I don't think this team does too good. <laughs> but, I think they're honestly close to fairly rated. I know people are like, oh, you gotta bump up Duchesne, get Duchesne 90 overall. It's one good year. It's one good year. I don't like bumping people up too much, especially off of a uh, one good year, because then they could just disappear. All right, well, y'all ready to see some simming? Because I sure as heck am. Let's do it. Let's see exactly how this team is going to perform. So now you guys have seen the lines. You can go ahead and make those predictions for this first year. Let them fly. If you're still kind of confused on it, look in the comments. It, it'll become pretty clear to see what other people are doing. So let's, uh, let's get this first bit of time done. For those of you who didn't watch the throwback Detroit Red Wings series, we were perfect. Two years, two cups. <laughs> oh, Ryan, you'll hunt. Oh, that's a minor Drew coming back from. Yeah, preseason going as to be expected. Kind of hovering around that 500 mark. We'll see what happens here in the regular season. Can UC Saros carry? How hard can UC Saros carry? Oh, dude, did I not get a... No, I have a... Yeah, Trennan. Dude, that's, yeah, it's actually, well, I don't know. That could be sort of glitched. You know how that stupid, I, I'm, I'm assuming the chemistry glitch is still in the game. Let's remove the trade block stuff. How dare you have Rocco Grimaldi on the block? He is amazing. Another short king, baby. And an exceedingly nice guy. All right. So we'll let Auto Scout get to work for the first part. We'll jump in. To our uh, normal scout routine. Good gracious. Here come the injuries, apparently. Is what's his name back, at least? Okay, we can throw seasons back in there. Good lord. And then Trennan will hop in here. So we're getting into injury trouble early on, which isn't great. And yeah, I didn't... Again, I wasn't going to change any of the power play stuff, really, because I don't have ownership of this team yet. And what I mean by that, it's like, I don't feel like it's mine. I want to see what they do as they're designed and... I'm not going to try to, like, min-max the lines yet when I don't really know what I'm min-maxing, right? I got I to gotta kind of see how everyone performs. All right, Seasons is now fully healed. Or Sissons, is, is it Seasons or Sit? Oh, I did the thing. Ah, I forgot. Oh, God, now we got to talk to someone. Amazing. I really like. Aren't you a team player? Amazing. We went to the Chicago Blackhawks School of fucking Management. Apparently it worked. <laughs> Aren't you a team player? Keep your mouth shut and play hockey. God. By the way, set the entire Chicago Blackhawks organization on fire. I feel so bad for fans of that team. Uh, and I did. I always, I always forget where it's at. <laughs> where is it? Stupid morale meetings. Where are you? I bet I passed it, and you guys are like, turn off morale meetings, and I just didn't. There you go. They're off now. We're introverted. We don't talk to players. Imagine imagine the audacity of going in their fucking GM's office and, like, demanding shit out of them. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, almost done with this first little bit of time. We're, uh, 2, 3, and 2. Again, kind of to be... Wait, wait. No, that's not the... Here we are. We gotta get the first month and a half done. Not just the first month. Kunin fully healed. He was out, wasn't he? Yeah. I almost just skipped him. All right, Luke, where are you at? There you are. Get back in there. Could honestly have you... Could play Cody Glass up. He only has one point. 84 awareness. 80, yeah. That doesn't help us whatsoever. Nothing helps us. 
Good lord. Horsburg, you at least producing? Yay! At least the king's producing. There we go. The best return for Martin Erat ever. Tanner Janot is fully... Wait, I don't know. It's, it, like, see, I don't even know what's going on. Was he out? Was he in? Yikes, Yossi. Come on. You got to produce. We're actually a f above 500 team, which is kind of... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he says as then uh, Duchesne gets injured. Now, I'll put Cody Glass on the second line for this. Why not? Pardon? Oh. Oh, yeah, because sub in all lines still doesn't sub in all lines. Why should it? It only says it. that's what it should do. You know? Why should it sub in all lines? Why, do, why, why should we expect anything in an EA game to work properly? Holy shit, we're actually dominating. <laughs> Can this keep up? Yeah, not bad. Nine game or nine points in tw however many games played. Twenty was it twenty really? Yeah, must twenty two. Good for you. All right, so there we are, twelve six and five somehow. Second in, in the central. See, that's why I don't mess with anything. You never know what's just gonna work. And Philip Forsberg is working overtime. Twenty five points in twenty three games played. Um, let's just check this central. Okay, Coyotes at the bottom. Blues at the bottom. That's that's nice. I like to see that. Blackhawk, I don't like that. Avalanche, hilariously, always struggling. And the Jets are doing good. Well, I mean, ish. Interesting Pacific. Very interesting Pacific. Kraken at the bottom where they should be. Sharks are doing better than they should be. I'm just taking a look. Where are the Lightning? Okay, the Lightning, <laughs> they're in there. Um, actually not bad. Besides the Panthers struggling, that's not too bad. Cana <laughs> Look at the Canadians. How? How? Seriously, how? Oh my goodness. Flyers. <laughs> Good stuff. Realistic sim engine, baby. The best thing ever. All right, well, that hilarity out of the way. You always got to look. You always got to look. I always got to look and laugh and then, <laughs> see, I knew it. We're actually scoring way more than I thought we would. I knew this would be around this. The goals against, and that's again big part. Uh, big shout out to UC Saros. Whoa, power plays bad, penalty kills good. Yeah, kind of, sort of what I expected. This would be a good, good sort of defensive team. All right, well, Forsberg and Granlin kicking ass. Good stat growth city, baby. You know the rules. Wait, wait, wait. What's your contract? I have. Yeah, okay, never mind. We're good. Um. Johansson, 17 points. Dutchie only has 14, but he's only played 17 games played. Tolvin in with 12. Kunin, not bad. And yeah, pretty steep drop off after that. Yossi doing okay. Ekholm, Favro. We're getting a decent chunk of production from the back end, but here's what. Oh, baby. <laughs> Actually, both goaltenders doing exceedingly well, but here's UC Saros. Yeah, honestly, this might be our guy for, for a very, very long time in this franchise mode. I don't, you know what? I didn't even actually check our pick situation. That would be good to know. What are we looking at? What are we going to be drafting at? Speaking of which, I mean, all you members, you know you're in here. Uh, it's actually, since there's so many of you, there's actually 30 of you. 30 members, and I did have the ones who didn't submit a build to me get randomized. You're welcome. Um, We actually just have our pretty much normal picks. Besides the six, but we have an extra three. Yeah. So, uh, you guys will be coming in in all three years. And I'm hoping, I'm, I'm assuming with the amount of hype that was around the series, we will get at least like 10 years done. As long as, you know, the interest stays in this series, which I, I do hope it will. And with the members out there, we should have a good amount of time uh, to, to see your careers. Now, if you are if you are one of the ones who ended up, who, who, who will end up being in that third draft class, um, don't worry. Because you'll still grow leading up to that. So you won't be extremely behind in the way of like development and overall wise once you break in the NHL. So uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. um, Let's go up another month. We'll check out some progress reports after that. And see what's going on. <laughs> How are we winning? Multiple players are eligible to be dressed. Who was even out? I forget. Oh, it must have been a couple guys coming back from minor injuries. Yeah, that, okay, here we go. Now we're actually going to do some real uh, scouting. Well, there's one member. There's two members. 
<laughs> so there he is, R of all parts in it, and because Snipe and Score knows what the fuck he's doing, he's able to put people on finished teams. So there you go. It, I, I think I'm probably going to hire Snipe and Score for these members' things, and that way we'll be actually able to crank out more franchise modes quicker because when I have to do it, number one, it takes me a while because I hate doing rosters and I'm bad at it. Number two, I always feel like I need a balance test every time, which I I do because I can I don't I don't do this too often. Um Yeah, there's actually yeah, there's actually quite a few uh I think there's like I think I did 10, 10, and 10. So there's gonna be uh, 10 in this first year, 10 in the second, 10 yeah. And you can see some of the some of the people appearance. So we already got a Arvo Partnin. Apparently, I don't think we're getting him. Ziggy Hosa. But, uh, Matthias Havilid here, huh? What are you like? What are you? It's high. He's probably going to be high top six, but it's a weird location. Anyway, Jaron Myers. Hey, look, you're a sniper. Look at that. Um. Yeah, I kind of will just do my own I gotta remember how to how to scout it's been a while man we didn't scout at all in, in the Detroit one um so I gotta remember what I do I'm gonna all right let's uh let's let's get in it let's let's look for those mean elite steals baby I don't oh that guy's completely real person even though he doesn't have a picture so not not a great chance for him yeah let's look for the medium elite steals down the line here Paul Ludwinski, that does not seem like a made-up name, so I think that's a real dude. So not a whole lot of, uh... Oh, that's, that's, this is a totally made-up name. Look at that, Vitaly Leonov, Leonov, Leonov. Love to see it. Actually has some pretty decent potential there for good stuff. And I will scout some of the members. And I remember some of the potentials. It's been a while since I actually randomized them. But then I had to put you guys all in a little, uh pdf list to hand a snipe and score so he could work his magic yeah i was having a lot of like just it was so daunting to try to figure out the new pass shoot bias i f and i figured he would have a good and you guys it, if you guys like you know wrote down what you guys you know would see your guy envision your uh players playing like then snipe would have obviously sort of uh tried to optimize your guy as best to his ability to fit the play style that you see so, very, very excited about uh, how this is going to pan out. I don't know why I scouted him. I saw the picture, and I, I clicked it, and I just, I, I was I was committed at that point. Committed. So, not a, I mean, there's a decent chunk of guys here in okay locations so far, but I wouldn't say a huge crop of them, and we're probably not going to find a lot of the steals here. Oh, I thought that was Stalin. I was so stoked. <laughs> but no. No. Unfortunate. Give me a marks here. G give us the people's champion. Oh, that's it. Oh, he's got accents, though. I think usually that means that... Well, I mean, I guess EA generates accents sometimes, but I don't feel like it's as often. And you kind of see a lot of the same names just cropping up. Yeah. And I'm probably going to avoid picking up Gaucher in this one because we, since we had him in uh, San Jose and we know he's a medium lead, I'll probably just avoid picking him up. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick him up for some trade value. <laughs> Never mind. Wait a sec. We might, we're, we might need some trade value because even though we have an absolute dog shit team, looks like uh, we're still going to sim well. So we're going to need to get some value somehow. Let's hope that we actually maybe find a low elite or two in this first year. It's not super often. Okay, that's it. Not super often that that happens, but you never know. In general, he feels like it'll be a good year for rookies. I, I bet it will, because we did add 10 pretty damn good ones. <laughs> Along with, uh... Oh, one thing I didn't do is actually see if we had anyone here with any potential that was worth a damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I should probably put Proke up in there. Anyway, let's sub this dude in there. Grinder! Hmm. Yeah, it's just... Well, this guy... Eh, he might grow. Who was it? Proko. He's a right D as well. Perfect, yeah. I want to get him in there. He needs some, uh, he needs some ice time. 
<sighs> Another one. Oh, wow. He got partnered with Proc up and then immediately just died. Minus one. I don't know if that's actually real. Could be that glitch. Either way, it's a minor concussion. Which means he'll be back in a couple days because head trauma doesn't matter, kids. Remember. <sighs> Turn down the injury sin. No, it'll be fine. Trust me. Trust the process. The 20 setting is the best. Davies is back and he was, I guess, a defenseman. There he is. And then the uh, the thing does the thing. Well, we can't tell where we are in the sim. Oh, what the hell? Where is he? Oh, he's a right winger. That'd be why. Olivier. <laughs> That's all right. We're almost done. We're past it. Now, should I be playing this guy instead of McCarron? I mean, we're winning, right? So why do that? Why change things up when you're having success? How you doing, McCarron? Hilariously kind of good. Yeah. All right. Oh, to cup a few big losses there. Five nothing. Nine three. Five to three. Rip UC Saros' stats. Holy shit. At least in the back to back you want to split it. Man, goaltender stats just took a massive, massive hit right there. Oh boy. Um, I guess I'll check out progress reports anyway. So we could just uh, keep the format going. Kunin's growing, good. Tolvanen is growing. Cody Glass. Alright, not bad. Willsby's growing a bit. A few guys down here. Not a to obviously don't have a lot of potential guys here. Besides Zach LaRue. Yeah, is he? Yeah, he's... Oh, he's in Halifax. Cool. Don't have to worry about him. Alright, so... Yeah, we're obviously not going to go too depth in the progress report. Too in-depth in the progress reports. Because, well, we don't need to. 2012 and... Uh, anyway, 2012 and some past the Olympic break. All the way to the deadline, man. I I, I feel like we're just going to be fine. I, this is supposed to be a tougher division, obviously. Rocco! I'm not going to best lines or anything because, yeah, I don't want Pro Cup to get scratched again. Yeah, put in a grinder on the first line, baby. Oh, my gosh. Rocco is everywhere, man. Rocco is everywhere. He's the anchor. Huh? Ah! Huh? Get anchor of the admirals. All right, it's it's a bit of a stretch, but you know what? Speaking of which, why is it the Milwaukee Admirals? Isn't Milwaukee completely fucking landlocked? I don't know. I don't pay much attention to the Northwest. I don't know. What would you be that could be considered? It's close enough to Detroit for me to just consider it gross. Rocco Grimaldi is back. So shove him back in there, 80 overall. I mean, I could call his ass up. <laughs> but he's, he's carrying that AHL team. He needs to lead us to a Calder Cup. Dude, how the hell are we winning? <laughs> it's actually insane how friggin' well we're doing. And this Trennan guy is getting tons and tons of ice time. Oh, his name's Yakov. Yakov Shmirnov. Let's go. All right, scouting time real quick. Continuing on here with this uh, surprisingly great season in Nashville. Second and only one point behind the Avs, who, okay, fortunately, are at least up there. Nick Cousins is back. Trennan continues to just fill holes. Giggity. All right, let's uh, see the Olympics where Germany will win it all. <laughs> all right, past it. Uh, okay, Islanders coach has been fired. And we continue to just win, dude. I, yeah, we're not dropping out of the playoffs. It's, I was like, I was waiting for it the whole season. I'm like, when are we coming back down to earth? It simply hasn't quite happened. And, I mean, we're right back to scouting already. Feels like just uh, a minute ago we were. <laughs> and there we are, all finished. Up at the deadline now, 35, 18, and 9. <laughs> wow. Uh, Forsberg, a little bit below point per game. The Avalanche went on an absolute tear, but we're firmly in the playoffs. I mean, we're 10 points ahead of the Jets, who have a wild card, and the other wild cards here as well. Long live the terrible Pacific. 
And apparently the Kraken are up in the playoffs. Sharks are down at the bottom. Oh, I, how I wish that would happen this this season. Uh, we all know they're not going to do anything. Just just tank. Just tank. Uh, all right. Anyway. Um, Leafs fly. Still cracks me up. Look at the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes missed the playoffs. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Good stuff. You absolutely love to see it. Actually, you kind of do. Hurricanes are... I don't know. They they got that little blo little brother vibe about them. They're like, yeah, oh, we're doing so good. And still, no one gives a shit. And so they're like on Twitter trying to create rivalries. And still, no one gives a shit. It's crazy. In fact, we're going to hang a banner on this game just for them missing the playoffs. Let's go Nashville, baby. All right. Um... It's it kind of stayed the same the whole year. We were around three goals for the whole year and around two point five goals against power plays about the same. It we were it, any if anything extremely consistent, and so we got into the playoffs because of that, or we'll we'll get into the playoffs because of that. Sorry, we're not there yet, but I mean, we've been incredibly consistent so far. Forsberg has been great, fifty eight goals, not really a goal score. 49 points for, uh, I said, did I say 58 goals? Yeah, 58 points, not really a goal score. There we go. <laughs> 50, uh, sorry, 49 points for Granlin. 43 Johansson. 42 for Duchesne, man. It's 40 for Kunin. Really not bad. Might even get some stack growth because of that and become a very, very serviceable player. I mean, he's already serviceable, but I mean, actually in the top six, that'd be pretty nuts. Cody Glass didn't do great, but hey, hopefully he grows... Just give me, I don't know, he could be a nice 3C, maybe, if he develops properly. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see what we can get out of Cody Glass. Not too bad on the forward end of things, and... Yeah. So far, so good, I guess. I don't know. I could use more points out of Yossi, but probably won't get it. And Saro, so far, is doing a fantastic. 9, 2, 4, save percentage, and a 2, 3, 5... Goals against, and guys, I think we're actually going to have to stop here at the deadline simply because, I mean, we may make some trades and make a run. I don't know. It's, we're kind of there. I don't think we win, but you never know. You never know. Crazier things have happened. Sometimes when a team's simming good, they just, well, they're just simming good, and they might be able to make some waves. I don't know. I still feel like you're missing some stuff, but with Saros doing what he's doing, the team has been incredibly consistent, man. Like, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't think there's any way this team can win a cup, but I don't is there any way they win a cup by, you know, acquiring a piece or two? Maybe, but I'm not gonna trade anything, you know. Um I'm not gonna sell the farm, that's for damn sure. Like Tomasino, we're not moving him. It doesn't do great. And he's listed as depth. So it was a bit risky, but also he's 20. Which is the main reason I just left him there. So I don't know. I hope he grows. If he doesn't, that could be a bit... It's actually kind of an... I didn't realize Tomasino would be fucking elite. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't on my bingo card. So a bit of an oversight, actually, to not move him down. I somehow missed him in my initial look. And then also just kind of blew, blew through it. When I was doing the lineups. Anyway, Tomasino is an elite, apparently. Okay. Well, I don't think we would have screwed him up completely. <laughs> I guess we'll see. We shall see. I could maybe give him a bit more ice time. Stick him on a th the third line, like, guarantee. I thought he... No, he's not on the third line. That's right. Because of a dude bro there. Jeannot. I could do that. There, I mean, a bit more ice time for him. But, again, when it comes to trades, like... What do we really grab? And, and the, the biggest question is, what do we give up for it, right? It's obviously no one up here. LaRue's not... I mean, it's he's tradable, but I'd rather kind of trade someone at the draft. If I'm trading... If I'm trading LaRue, I'm not getting an older guy for him. I'm getting a younger guy for him. He's not really bad, like... By any means. Again, have to see how he pans out. I don't like top six mediums, especially playmakers. I mean, they can pan out like as 3C. It's just, it's more rare for them to make it 
on my teams into the top six, the way I kind of draft and develop people. So we'll have to see what happens in that kind of regard. Obviously, Saros is our guy for now. Yeah, you know, we don't just, just don't have a ton of value. I'm not going to trade picks. Not going to do anything like that. I I don't know. Um, but I want to hear from you guys about what you think we should do here at the deadline because we are right now a competitive team. So we should kind of decide, you know, what kind of run we are going to make because we are going to make a bit of a run, however brief it may be or however crazy it may be. We will be a playoff team. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.